Welcome to the Wine Fine Talks. Today we have a very special guest with us, Melina Fassati from Italy. She's actually with Gruppo Italiano Vini, which is one of the largest producers in Italy. You might not know that name, but you probably know some of the brands under that umbrella, such as Falinari, Bola, and Malini. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It's really a pleasure to be here with you and I'm really honored uh, to talk about uh, my company and my wines. You know, I'm thrilled that you're here because you produce huge amounts of wine, yet even at that scale, they're consistent year in, year out. The wines you can count on, they're also quite high quality for the value proposition within the bottles. Look at Folinari Pinot Grigio, Folinari um, Volpolicella, Bola, the Molini Chianti. These are all wines that people can rely on. So what I'd like to ask you is how you use your scale to create that consistency bottle to bottle. Actually, Gruppo Italiano Vini is one of the largest producers, uh, wine producers in Italy. We are part uh, of a bigger group. Uh, our ownership uh, are cooperatives. Cooperative. Cooperatives means uh, growers. Uh, therefore, we are very proud of representing this word because in Italy, growers uh, me are very much linked to the concept of viticulture and viticulture is our uh, life and our soul. So basically we are very much linked uh, to the territory, to uh, the sustainability of uh, our activities with the territories and we are very much uh, present in all the vocated area of Italy. Particularly uh, in respect to Folanari, we are very much uh, uh, linked to, to the northern territory like Veneto. But we are also expanding to other regions um, and most probably today we will talk about some other regions than Veneto. Well, quite indeed, if your growers are all throughout Italy and it's a cooperative, they're producing the wine and they're sharing therefore in the profits too. So, exactly. So, so how do you, as an overriding organization, ensure quality at every level and at every step? We have a, a very a big structure, so a centralized structure, which is taking care about everything that is, as I said, uh, uh, going from the quality of the product uh, to the sustainability of the vineyards uh, and also uh, at the very same time controlling all the process. Uh, but having said that, all our wineries are managed by single winemakers and the single winemakers uh, are also wine director and they are very much responsible of the product directly. So that's why from in, in a large scale company, we can have results uh, which are very much uh, uh, related into quality, the quality of wine itself. And, and I imagine also are able to keep, uh, use your economies of scale to keep prices at an honest level. Exactly. Exactly. You know, there's that misconception that smaller is better in the wine world, and that is not always true. Is um, it, it sometimes is a prejudice, yes, <laughs> uh, uh, but it's very much depending uh, on the fact how much you care about what's inside the glass and the bottle. So we are producing for every of our bottle a different quality for a different uh, consumer target, and that's very much important. Uh, nothing which is uh, in our uh, wines uh, is the same uh, ever. So then, with this wine here that we're about to taste, maybe you can tell me about this particular expression. Yes, um, um, Folonari, as you rightly said, is uh, definitely uh, market leader in uh, Canada and Folonari is very much cool as you said for Pinot Grigio, for Valpolicella, for everything related a little bit to the northern part of Italy. We decided to introduce uh, Sangiovese, this is vintage 22, because Sangiovese is one of the most uh, famous Italian grapes. Uh, you can have different expression of Sangiovese 
from Tuscany, from Central Italy, uh, and uh, we decided to have this Sangiovese from uh, Romagna. It's called the Sangiovese Rubicone because uh, it has uh, a, a very friendly touch, uh, friendly note, uh, and it's fruitful in itself. Uh, at the very same time, uh, it's very easy to drink uh, because when a wine is a good wine, first of all, it's drinkable. Drinkability is such an important element in, in you know, every price point, really, um, but particularly at the lower price points because you're, you're often you know, serving it with food, with friends, and you're not thinking too much. So this wine, I mean, this is a wine that I think is lovely this time of year because Sangiovese has that bright seam of acidity, but maybe you can you know, walk us through a tasting. See, and I uh, just wanted to tell you Sangiovese. Why Sangiovese? Because it is autochton grape and people are looking for authenticity. Yes, yes. The nose is beautiful. I mean, Sangiovese for me is always earthy cherries or dusty cherries and that's exactly what that nose is and it's pure. There's purity. It's, um, let, what we are aiming for is a uh, from a natural, uh, very clean nose uh, and very clean uh, also texture. So very much uh, accurate, uh, simple wines, but very much accurately prepared and accurately managed. Uh, in the end of the day, simplicity is uh, an advantage uh, and Sangiovese is a simple wine. Uh, can be paired uh, with anything uh, that is like uh, from aperitifs, uh, but also to meat, uh, to uh, poultry. You can really use it on every occasion. And the, the really interesting uh, part is that uh, it's light, but it is consistent and it stays in the mouth. You're making me thirsty. I definitely <laughs> want to taste it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Lovely. Drinkable, quenching, you know, clean, but not too heavy. That lift is exactly. lovely. And uh, just a little tip uh, during summer, chill it a bit. To bring out the acid. Yes, and the tannins. It's funny because if you chill wines with, with big tannins, it can, it can ruin mm. the wine, it can be bitter. But this doesn't have that. The structure is right for chilling. I love that. And I mean, I think we're having a heat wave all over the world right now. So this, now, yes. Grazie. It's a lovely wine. What does it sell for? It sells for $15.95 on shelf, yes. See, I think that's great value for money, especially in today's economy. Um, and the other thing I like about this is, you know, it's beautifully balanced because it's the balance for me that spells quality. Right now, so many wines are out of balance because of global warming, and yet this is 13% alcohol, which is a light body, relatively low, no alcoholic heat in the back of the throat, and I think that is real value. Thank you very much. Uh, grazie mille. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.